Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Nathan Blows Out the Hanukkah Candles by Tammy Lehman Wilsick with Nicole Katzman. Is it Hanukkah? Is it Hanukkah? All my big brother does is say the same thing over and over again. Is it Hanukkah? Is it Hanukkah? He keeps repeating. As usual, Nathan is lost in his own world. Then he announces, Tonight is Hanukkah! Tonight is Hanukkah! I know, I know, I answer. Mom gives me a look. Okay. Nathan's mind is wired differently. I'm glad you understand that, Jacob. Hanukkah has eight days. Hanukkah has eight days. I think I'm going to burst. And the United States has 50 states, continues Nathan. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas. Mom cuts in. I have a good idea, Nathan. Turn on your computer and see if you can find a blank map of the United States where you can put in the state's names. Nathan goes to his room. Mom asks me, would you like to help set up the Hanukkah menorah? Sure, I answer. I like pretending I'm Judah Maccabee, lighting the menorah in the temple. Tonight's the first night of Hanukkah, so only one candle, Mom says, plus the shamish, the helper candle, for lighting it. I'm Judah Maccabee, winning the war against King Antiochus. We recapture our holy temple. There's a small jug of oil to light the menorah. It's enough for one day, but... A miracle. The oil lasts eight days. Tonight, I'm going to pray for a new miracle. That Nathan stops repeating himself. I put the menorah on the table next to the window. A big truck pulls in next door with a car behind it. A new family is moving in. Yes! It looks like there's a boy my age. I wonder if he plays basketball. Mom, I yell, I'll be, going, I'll be outside shooting hoops. I bounce the ball really hard. It works. My new neighbor walks over. Can I play, he asks. My name's Stephen. What's yours? Jacob. Stephen and I play until Dad comes home. He has a box of fresh jelly donuts, our traditional Hanukkah dessert. He says, come, it's time to light the menorah. Nathan stands right in front of the menorah. Dad uses the shamash to light the candle. We say blessing, the blessings, then sing, Mazor. Nathan stands still, staring at the lit candles. We finish singing. Good. Now we can eat the... Whoosh! Nathan! I shout. I can't believe it. I heard Nathan take a deep breath, but I didn't think he was going to blow out the candles. Why did you do that? I ask angrily. Dad puts his arm around Nathan. Hanukkah candles are not like birthday candles. We don't blow them out. Okay, answers Nathan. Do you understand, asks Mom. I want to say, of course not, but Nathan says yes. The next afternoon, I go outside, loudly bouncing my ball again. Stephen joins me until his mother calls him to come home. Dad's car turns in the driveway. He gets out, holding a new box of jelly donuts. Let's light the menorah, he says. Just as we gather, the doorbell rings. We're your new neighbors, says Stephen's mother. I thought we should get to know each. What's your name? What's your name? Nathan is rushed over and is hugging Stephen. Dad quickly steps in and guides Nathan back to the menorah. Good, I mutter to myself, but I'm worried. I never know what Nathan will do next. Mom hesitates, then invites the neighbors in. Would you like to light the menorah with us? I try signaling to no to mom, but she ignores me. We recite the blessings and sing Ma Zur. Uh-oh, Nathan's eyes are fixed on the candles. I squeeze my eyes closed. I hear Stephen and his mother gasp. Yup, Nathan has blown out the candles. Your brother's weird, Stephen whispers. This certainly is a different way of celebrating, says Stephen's mother. I enjoyed that. Mom gives her a weak smile. Why don't you kids play dreidel? I grab one of the wooden dreidels, motioning to Stephen to sit on the floor. He takes turns spinning it. 
Nathan can't keep his eyes off the whirling dreidel. Suddenly, he snatches another dreidel. Move away, I say, as he flops down next to me, lying on his side and propping his head up with his hand. Nathan doesn't budge. His eyes are fixed on his dreidel, which he spins and spins and spins, faster and faster and faster, on and on and on and on and on. Here we go again, I mutter. Let's move over there, Stephen suggests. We play until we get hungry, and we go to the dining room for jelly donuts. Nathan, Mom calls. No answer. Nathan is hypnotized by his spinning dreidel. Nathan! Still no answer. Mom gently takes the dreidel away and brings Nathan over to the table. Come have a jelly donut with us, she says. The next afternoon, I'm back outside bouncing my ball. Stephen comes out, takes a deep breath, then lets out a huge puff of air. I'm blowing out the Hanukkah candles, he laughs. He repeats this every time he sees me over the next few days. It's the seventh day of Hanukkah. I've had enough. I go to Stephen's house and ring the bell. He answers the door and starts taking a deep breath. Stop making fun of my brother, I shout. He's autistic. That's the best, Stephen chuckles. Your brother's artistic. Not artistic, autistic. My mom says Nathan just looks at things in his own way. He thinks differently, and he helps me see the world differently. You're as weird as your brother, Stephen says with a mean look. The next thing I know, Stephen's mother is standing next to us. Jacob, I'm so glad to see you. Your mother invited us over tonight to celebrate the last night of Hanukkah. What? She wants us to celebrate the way Nathan celebrates, and we're happy to come, aren't we? Stephen gulps. Uh, I guess. I wonder what she means. That evening, just before it gets dark, Stephen and his parents come over. Stephen's mom is carrying a large box of fresh jelly donuts. We're here to help celebrate this happy holiday with you, Nathan, she says. Nathan smiles. Our menorah is on the windowsill with all eight candles plus the shamash in its candle holders. Dad motions all of us to come to the menorah. We light the candles, say the prayers, and sing Ma's door. Then Mom goes to the table. She takes out nine jelly donuts from the box and places them in a row on a tray. She sticks a candle in the middle of each donut and lights them all with the shamish. Mom smiles. Now it's time for us to celebrate Hanukkah Nathan's way. I nudge Stephen. We all go to the table where the jelly donuts are lined up with their candles burning brightly. One, two, three. Three, says Mom, and we all blow. <sighs> Nathan beams. That was awesome, says Stephen. This is the best Hanukkah ever. The end. Remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and our activities. Bye!